Are you tired of swiping on dating apps? Have you tried some primitive automated methods and ended up matching with a cow? Are you tired of texting for hours without ever getting on a date? Introducing CupidBot, a Chrome plugin that can do all the swiping for you, all the texting for you, and arrange the date for you as well. All you have to do is fire your laptop install the Chrome extension and log into your Bumble account from a browser and sit back, relax, and let it do all the work for you. The question is, does it actually work in real life? And in today's video, I'm gonna attempt and put CupidBot to the test to see how exactly it's swiping, how it's texting, and if it's able to schedule dates for me. So first thing we're gonna do is to download the CupidBot Chrome extension, install it on our browser, and then log into Bumble from our browser. Now, once you're logged in, you're gonna see on the right-hand corner all the settings and preferences for CupidBot to run. So amongst those settings are if you are interested in a female or male or transgender, how attractive do you want the girl to be? So you can select a range of attractiveness between zero to 10. You can also tell it based on which photos to judge the attractiveness. So it can pick the ugliest photo or the hottest photo or the average of all photos on the profile. You could also select the weight preference. So depending what you're into, you can either select thin, chubby, or fat. You can also select ethnicity preference. So you can select white, black, Asian, Latina, Middle Eastern, or Indian. There's also a setting that lets you choose the hair color. So if you're into blondes or brunettes, you can choose that. And the latest update actually enables you to select daddy issues preference. Now daddy issues preference is basically swiping left if the girl has tattoos or swiping left if she is goth. Now. Don't judge me, that's how the app works. And I'm going to keep both of those checked. And it also asks you what to do in case there's only a group photo. So some girls sometimes upload photos with their friends. So you can either tell the bot to swipe right on this photo or swipe left on this photo or evaluate poorly if the girl is attractive or not. So for this experiment, I'm gonna be looking for females attractiveness level between eight to 10. I wanted to judge the attractiveness based on the average of all photos. And I'm gonna select thin as my weight preference, white as the ethnicity preference, and I'm going to select blonde and brunettes as the hair color. And as I mentioned before, I wanted to swipe left on girls with tattoos and swipe left on girls that are goth. So let's see how that's gonna work in action. Oh, and another feature of the app is that it can actually do all the chatting for you. So if you enable chatting, it can chat with a girl and try to arrange a date of your preference. So if you're into coffee dates or walking in the park dates or dinner dates, you can literally tell the app what kind of date you're interested in and it's gonna try and schedule the date for you with the girl. And the moment the girl actually gives her contact details, it will email you the details of the date. So the location, her contact details, her name, and all you have to do is show up on the date. And another cool feature with the newest update for this app is that it can actually learn your taste. So it can actually monitor your swipes and it can see what type of girls you're swiping right on and what type of girls you're swiping left on and it can learn your taste and then it can start swiping based on your preference. And in order for you to not get banned using this bot on Bumble, it has an anti-bot detection system. So you can actually tell the app when you are going to sleep. So during your sleep time, it's gonna actually stop swiping for the amount of hours that you select. And it also has a swipe delay, so it can emulate the natural behavior of a human. Anyways, let's put this bot to the test and let's see how it's gonna perform. So I'm going to turn on the swiping feature and the chat feature. So it's actually scrolling down through the profile to try and evaluate all the photos on the profile. 
and it swiped left on this one. It's checking all the photos. And it swiped right on this one. Now let's see, I wanted to actually swipe left on, again, it actually did. Swipe left. Now this should be a left swipe. Let's see. And it actually did swipe left. I'm betting on a right swipe on this one. Come on, come on, come on. And it did swipe right. So it's actually pretty good so far. It's evaluating. I would swipe left on this one. Let's see if it's gonna agree with me. Actually swiped right on it. This is definitely a left swipe. So let's give it another shot. Swipe left correctly, pretty quick too. This I would also say swipe left, but... And it did swipe left. So, so far it's actually pretty accurate based on the same way I'm evaluating the photos. It's actually kind of accurate. This one I would say is gonna swipe right definitely. And it did swipe right. So from initial tests, I'm actually seeing that it's pretty accurate. Uh, it's able to tell if a girl is attractive or not. Let's see if it can actually detect the ethnicity because I selected, I only want white girls. Nope. <laughs> and it actually matched me with a black girl. So apparently the ethnicity filter is not correct. As you can see, I only selected white and it did swipe right on a black girl. But in terms of choosing attractiveness, so far it's pretty accurate. So I'm going to let this run for a while. I wanna see if we're gonna get some matches and how it's going to chat with the girls. Is it gonna be robotic or is it gonna be human-like? I'm very curious because that's going to be the toughest part. If the bot manages to chat with a girl and pretend it's me, then it's probably gonna be a huge deal and it's gonna be revolutionary in terms of online dating. The next day. All right, so I let CupidBot run and do its own swiping for 24 hours and we also got a single match. Now I wanted to see its chatting feature and I can already tell you it is a little bit disappointing. So all it did is it basically identified one thing in common between me and the girl and just asked her out on a date based on our common thing. So here's the message it actually wrote. He said, hey, and he didn't mention the name, which I think it is a minus. He said, let's grab coffee sometimes and talk about our Scorpio signs. So I like the fact that it could identify that you know, we have a Scorpio sign in common and it's something to talk about, but to ask the girl immediately on a date with just one sentence without warming her up, without actually having some sort of conversation, I think it's basically killing leads that way. And I highly doubt this sort of opening will allow it to schedule high quality dates. In my opinion, this part of the bot actually needs to be improved quite a bit. In fact, this is already an improvement based on the first version because with the first version, I already tested it and all it was doing is it was sending one message and asking the girl out on a coffee date or whatever kind of date you specified in the bot. So to summarize it, I would say that the swiping feature is already pretty good. I mean, it does have some misses here and there, but I would say 90% or 95% of the times it's actually swiping correctly. But in the meantime, the chatting feature is really primitive and I would actually keep it off. I would only use the swiping feature, let it swipe, and then I would do all the talking myself unless they improve that feature in future versions. In fact, I'm in touch with the developer and he told me that this feature is gonna be significantly improved. So 
if the chatting feature will actually be solid and if the AI can hold a conversation based on common interests or the response of the girl, then that would actually be pretty cool. And I could see that taking off and transforming the whole online dating experience. I don't know if it's gonna be for the better or for the worse, but I can tell you for sure that AI tools that are used for online dating are just gonna be much smarter, much better from here. And I can see a huge leap from the first version of CupidBot to the second version. And I can only imagine how much better it's going to be on the 10th version. I think at some point you're basically not gonna be able to recognize that you are talking to a bot and I think very soon we're gonna get to a point where it's actually two bots talking to each other instead of two humans. So I don't know if AI tools are going to improve the experience of online dating or they are going to be a complete killer to online dating because at some point everybody's gonna realize that the person on the other side may not even be a person. It, may just be a computer and people are simply going to start giving up completely on online dating which to be honest with you I hope that something like this is going to happen. I hope that we're going to get back to the good old days where people would prefer real interactions instead of just chatting with somebody on the screen. And anyways I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave a link to CupidBot in the description of this video so feel free to check it out to test it yourself and once you test it let me know what you think about it and if you've gotten results from it or not in anyways i'm gonna see you in the next video bye bye